Today we're going to read a story called The Brand New Kid by Katie Couric. We're going to be talking about um, retelling the story and being able to explain what happened in the beginning, in the middle, and in the end. So I want you to think about the whole time that we're reading what's happening so that you're able to write down a retell of the story The Brand New Kid. Alright, so the... It says, by Katie Couric, when I'm looking at this front cover, I already want to start noticing some details. So, by Katie Couric, that means Katie Couric is our author. So, the author is the one who writes the words. And then it says, illustrated by Marjorie uh, Priceman. Marjorie Priceman is the illustrator. The illustrator draws the pictures. Good. And you can already get an idea about maybe what this story is about from just looking at the front of front cover here. It's called The Brand New Kid. You can see it looks like someone's writing on a chalkboard. Maybe that's a teacher. I'm already getting some ideas. And I can see from his face here, I'm not sure if this is The Brand New Kid, but this little kid doesn't look very happy. So I wonder what's going on in the story, why he is feeling that way. Let's read and find out. Remember, I want you thinking about what's going on at the beginning, the middle, and the end, and we'll check in at different points so we can review. Ellie McSnelly and Carrie O'Toole were running and laughing their first day of school, and they wondered just what was in store. Would this be a good year? Would school be a bore? They kept fingers crossed they'd be in the same class, and on a big table that they had to pass, they checked to find out which room they should go. McSnelly, 240. O'Toole, I don't know. Oh, here it is, dear. You're 240 as well. They squealed with delight. Oh, gee, this was swell. 240 meant they would both have Miss Kincaid, the best teacher by far in the whole second grade. They took their seats quickly. Miss Kincaid called the roll. Emily Allen, here. Tyler Antoli, here. Peter Bersinski. Raquel Brooks, here too. She went down the list until she was all through. Then she got to the boy who was not in her book. We have a new student. They all turned to look. His name is a different one. Laszlo S. Gasky. He's new to our school in the town of Delasky. You can look at the picture. It looks like most of the, the students in there are having a good time. Maybe they already know some people. They're passing notes and look like they're getting along with each other. And then you can see the one student here who looks a little bit lonely in the middle who doesn't maybe have anyone to talk to yet. I wonder if we're going to find out more about this student, Laszlo Gasky. Please welcome him here. Won't you all please say hi? But the students just turned and stared at the new guy. His hair was so blonde. Why, it was almost white. It stuck out all over. It didn't look right. His lips were bright pink, his eyes very blue. He looked at his feet and he fidgeted too. He was quiet at first and then yelled out, Hello! His voice booming so loud it made Ellie say, Whoa! The other kids laughed. Gee, this new boy was weird. Too different and strange to fit in, they all feared. Hmm. I wonder how that made Laszlo feel when they all reacted that way when he said hello. And they're pointing and laughing at him. Let's pause right here and think about, because I think this is a good point to stop and think about what's going on at the beginning of the text. So take a minute, think in your brain about um, something that's already happened in this book, and then I want you to just draw a picture on your notebook under the letter B so that you have an idea for what you want to write after this is over. So you may want to draw, this is Laszlo, and he's, I might draw, he looks kind of sad, and then all these other people over here are laughing at him and smiling. And he looks like he's all alone, and these people are all hanging out together without him and kind of pointing at him and laughing at him. So he might not feel very good yet. So let's see if what's going to happen in the middle of the story. 
So right now we're leaving Laszlo. He's feeling pretty lonely. So let's see what's going to happen next. Now class, Miss Kincaid said, her voice shrill and tight. Let's focus on learning and getting things right. She turned from the students. White chalk was her tool. As she wrote, welcome back to Brookhaven School. They sharpened their pencils and picked up their books. All morning long, they kept shooting him looks. They headed to gym class, a quick softball game. When they went to pick teams, no one mentioned his name. Aww. How do you think that made him feel when no one picked him to be on their team? If you said sad, I bet you can tell also from the picture, maybe disappointed, that he's not feeling happy at all. Because he looks like he's frowning and he's sitting all alone. At lunch, Ricky Jensen, who thought he was cool, made everyone laugh when he shouted, Hey, fool! As Laszlo was leaving the lunch with his tray, someone tripped him. His food, it went every which way. The students all froze as they saw Laszlo's face with french fries and ketchup all over the place. Man. I really wish someone would be a better friend to Laszlo and maybe make him feel better. So these first few weeks were lonely for this brand new kid. They made fun of him, all that he said and he did. So he kept his head bowed and stopped trying to please and simply prepared for the next taunt and tease. Think about how you would feel if someone treated you like that. If no one would let you sit with them at lunch, if people were throwing things at you and calling you names, how would that make you feel? Probably not very good. Okay, so let's pause, and what we're going to do is think about what's going on so far in the middle of the book. So just draw an M on your paper and think about something that's happening in the middle of this book here. And you can choose an incident. Maybe you can talk about um, the lunch incident where he's sitting at a table all by himself, and um, maybe... Things are getting thrown at him and from across the room. So you can kind of choose what you want to draw here, but just show something that's happened in the middle of the book so that you can remember it when we do our retell. Okay, let's, let's finish reading this book. One day after school, Ellie walked out the door and she saw someone she hadn't seen there before. A lady whose face looked so tired and worn, she had tears in her eyes and she seemed so forlorn. Who is that? Ellie asked for a of a student she saw. Oh, that's Laszlo's mother, said Susie McGraw. Her son's having trouble. She might pull him out. This school may be wrong for him. She's full of doubt. Ellie watched Miss Gasky as she turned toward her car. She'd thought about th how things were going so far, about Laszlo and how he felt different and strange, and wondered aloud just what she could arrange. So it's not just affecting Laszlo that people aren't being mean to him. It's Dipping from his bucket and also his mom's bucket, too. I've got it, she said. I'll ask him to play at my house or his after school ends one day. The next morning, she walked up to him at his locker. Would you like to come over and maybe play soccer? Stunned, he said, please come to my house and play. So Ellie said, sure, I can. Let's pick a day. How about Thursday, he asked with a smile a look that hadn't been on his face for a while. So it just took that one small thing from Ellie. How do you think that made Laszlo feel? Yeah, maybe excited and happy. You can tell from his face is smiling, so he might be excited about it. They walked home from school with their books in their arms, passing meadows and fields and a couple of farms. They arrived at his door, greeted by his French poodle, and Mrs. Gasky was there with a plate of warm strudel. And they munched on the page. As they munched on the pastry, they made quite a mess. And Laszlo said, "Do you know how to play chess?" Ellie said, "Yes, but I'm not all that great." 
That's okay, he replied, and he soon said, checkmate. The afternoon ended. Ellie said, this was fun. Laszlo just smiled and said, hey, thanks a ton for coming to my house and being my friend at a school in a town where I just don't fit in. At school the next day, the kid stopped her and said, You were walking with Laszlo. Are you sick in, in the head? Ellie paused and replied, Now I know him, you see. Laszlo isn't that different from you and from me. He's terrific at chess and his mom's really sweet. Playing soccer with a guy doesn't have two left feet. He may look slightly strange, have an accent and stuff, but if you knew him, you'd like him. It wouldn't be tough. So she's trying to stand up for his friend, for her new friend. Even though he's different, maybe he can still be a friend that, that you would like to hang out with. Carrie looked at her friend and she thought for a while, and when Laszlo walked up, she gave him a big smile. Hey, Ellie. Hey, Laszlo. Do you want to go play? And they all walked outside on a beautiful day. I really like the end of this story because it shows how one small act of kindness from one person who's like trying to help out someone who they see is having a hard time, Ellie, she really makes a big difference and makes Laszlo go from feeling sad to at the end he feels much, much happier and accepted by some of the friends at the school. So think about now what happened at the end of the story so we can talk about it. We said at the beginning Laszlo is feeling left out. People were teasing him and throwing things at him at lunch. And then at the end of the story, you can talk about what happened at the very end. So let's think about what happened last. Hmm. Maybe you could either choose something about Ellie being nice to him, or maybe you could draw a picture of him going off with a smile on his face now with his new friends, Ellie and his other new friends from school. And maybe they're going off to play soccer. So maybe you want to draw a little soccer ball there. Okay, oops, that's kind of hard to see. Okay, so I want you to look at what you drew for your beginning, your middle, and your end. And your assignment is going to be to write down three sentences about something that happened in the beginning of the story, in the middle of the story, and the end of the story. And I want you to put that in your homework journal so that we can remember what this book, The Brand New Kid, is all about. All right. Have an awesome day, and I hope you choose to be kind to someone today just like Ellie was to her friend Laszlo.